When my parents were living at home, we were going there every weekend to set up the medications and make sure that they had. My brother was bringing over groceries. We make he would run over and cook dinner for them some nights. As my mother's Alzheimer's started getting worse, we, you know, we were both kind of pitching in, and then we realized that they were just kind of unsafe together. <laughs> you know, it was getting to be too much for my dad, and so we decided to buy the house together so that we could. Um, you know, accommodate them and keep each other company and keep busy throughout the day when I was working from home here as an RN. It was a full-time job and it was a 24-hour watch. That's where home care came in. When I had to make a decision to move them to assisted living was because I also wanted them to have a really good quality of life. Mike has been part of our family actually for the past three, three and a half years and what he does is he provides an opportunity for my dad to get out to, to do guy time. They've been to car shows, they've been to, um, they go to the gym usually once a week, they go out to lunch and Mike really tailors it to what my dad's interests are. I never thought about taking my dad to the horse races, I think they decided that Mike makes the reservations, he makes sure that he gets into the horse races safely, and they have a great time. I've been with Ed for about four years, and we had an instant connection. Uh, we, have a, we have a good time, whether we're at the gym or whether we're at the racetrack, I and mean, we've had some shared experiences. The connection, I, I think, was founded more on age and compatibility and my being a friend rather than a caregiver. It's a friendship that's grown over time and they're, yeah, we're really fortunate. We're fortunate. My dad looks forward to every week. What day is Mike coming over? Is Mike coming tomorrow? Is he coming the next day? We talk about life and life experiences and, and many of the things that I've shared with Ed, he remembers. Ed and I have had some unique experiences. We were at the races, I think it was either last year or the year before, we watched a horse finish backwards, and literally backwards. The rear end of the horse finished, crossed the finish line first. We remember that, you know, that we, we talk about it, we kid about it. We kid about never betting on a gray horse. I really appreciate the fact that we have someone that is a similar age to my father. He's a little younger, but they're a generation that can share, you know, maybe the same experiences, maybe the same values. That made a big difference to have a senior with my dad. I feel great. I feel that I've done, I, I've done what I set out to do for the day. I brought, brought some joy, brought some happiness, and brought a new experience.